What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're going to be looking at a Tight Wallet, T-I-G-H-T. Their website is tightstore.com, so T-I-G-H-T-S-T-O-R-E.com. And this was a little bit ironic because just, I mean like literally the day I was finishing up my review of the Trayvax wallet, I got a uh, email from Jack Sutter from Brooklyn, New York, and he said, hey, do you want to check out one of these tight wallets and do a review? The concept, I'll show you in a minute, is basically a very slim, sleek uh, wallet that doesn't take up a lot of space. Your price point, depending on what kind of setup you get or how you uh, have it built, it's going to run you from 16 bucks up to about 50 bucks. So you've got a pretty broad uh, price range. Let me unbox the wallet here and show you what it looks like. So real quick before I show you the actual wallet, I just want to show you the setup here. I just like the marketing, the way they've laid this out. You know, sometimes you get something, they just throw it into a box and send it to you. The whole setup is just really nice. I like the way it's very creative. Uh, I'm not a super artistic person, but I appreciate when someone puts in time and effort uh, to make something look like this. And then also they throw a little sticker there. So in case you can't figure it out, there's the T, the I, the G, and then you get the H and then the T for tight. All right, so that comes with it. And then here's a look at the actual wallet. Now it doesn't come with cash, even though it looks like it did. Uh, let me zoom in here and you can see how it actually functions. Here's the wallet up close. And essentially what you have is two different sections, a spot for cash. And then on the back here, you can see a spot where you can slide your cards in. Now for me, I carry cash, but I also like for work, I have to keep receipts. So I would be keeping the cash and the receipts in this front section. But um, there's a little note on here that says the TGT or tight pocket was uh, designed to fit bank notes folded twice. So that's the concept. You're basically going to you know, fold your cash twice and then slide it in like this. And then on the back, you can see they've put a card in here. So you can put your credit cards or other things in there. This is basically you can see it's kind of an elastic material. And then this front section is leather. When it comes to all the different designs, essentially you can get um, you can get the elastic with you know different colors, stripes on it. You can get the leather with different colors. So there's lots of different setups when it comes to how you could actually do it. Again, the price point 16 bucks up to about 50 bucks. But I want to give you the quick overview here of what this looks like. And now I'm going to use it as a wallet for a while and then I'll come back and report in and let you know what I think about it. I will tell you that one of the things they kind of advertise about it is that you can keep it in your front pocket, your back pocket. It's not a big clunky wallet. Um, so that's what I like. I like something very streamlined and sleek. So I'm going to use it for you know a couple weeks, maybe a month, and then I'll come back and let you know what I think about it. All right, so I've been using the tight wallet for a bit now, and uh, let me talk about some of the pluses, maybe some of the minuses. Uh, pluses, it is it's probably the smallest wallet I've ever used, and I've used a handful of different uh, wallets. Right now in the um, in the wallet, and I'll show you a close up in a minute, but I have five cards and then some cash in front. There is a front pocket, there's a second pocket, and then there's your card holder section. And again, I'll show you a close up on this, but you can see real quick, comparing this to my VanQuest wallet, the VanQuest wallet is definitely bigger overall. Now, if you carry a bunch of cards or lots of things, you may want a bigger wallet like this, but if you just carry you know, a handful of cards and some cash and that's it, this may be a good uh, wallet for you. I will tell you that I did carry this in all four of my pockets, so both front pockets, both pack back pockets, even my front pocket like this and very comfortable. No time was I like in my car sitting down in the office and being like, oh man, there's just this huge thing, um, this huge wallet in my in my pocket that makes it uncomfortable. I could keep it in my pocket all day long, which is nice. Generally with this one or the Trayvax one that I reviewed, I want to take that out when I, when I sit down. It's just not comfortable. So that is definitely a plus of this wallet. Here's a close-up of the two wallets and let me just put this one on top of this. And you can see certainly the VanQuest wallet much bigger. Um, if you carry a lot of things, then maybe the VanQuest is the one for you. And if not, then maybe you want to go with this one. I'm not purposely trying to compare just these two in a, in a showdown or something, but this is the one that I've actually used the most. Here's a real quick shot here to show you that there's the front pocket that I had the money in before. There's the second pocket, which is sewed on the bottom. So nothing's going to fall out from this pocket or this pocket. And then you have my cards in the back five uh, cards in here right now. You could probably run six. I think seven would be too much, but with five, you still got to kind of shimmy one out and then you can, uh, you can take the card out. But uh, as is now, this has been, uh, this has worked fine for me to have either some cash in the first pocket or the second pocket and then cards in the other one. I generally get a bunch of receipts um, for work. So, you know, different things, going out to lunch with people, uh, buying meals, whatever, buying different things. So I'll keep, you know, some cash in the front, maybe receipts in the second, and then my cards in the uh, in the third section. At the end of the day, I would definitely say the tight wallet is going to be a good wallet for people who are minimalists. So if you want a very small wallet that doesn't carry a ton, uh, very sleek, 
again, fits in all your pockets quite comfortably. Uh, this is going to be a good option for you. Seems like it's nicely made. Uh, the stitching is pretty good. Uh, I haven't used it for a ton of time, but I'll let you know if it does wear down over time. I also like the fact that there are lots of other options as far as within this wallet style. They give you lots of colors and different setups, so there's lots of different ways to uh, configure your wallet if you want to get one of them. I put the links down below if you want to check out their website and also uh, purchase one of these wallets. But uh, yeah, I would definitely call this probably from all the wallets I've used the best uh, minimalist wallet. So if that's what you're looking for, check this one out. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids on YouTube if you've not done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.